Here's a box of 132 Haiti Repro Fab Five figures. Um, I'm going to check these for excess flash. And I'm going to talk a little about why it's important to remove that while you're, uh, or right before you start to paint figures. Just a brief inspection of all the figurines, looking for any uh, areas that might need to be trimmed. Um, on most of these type figures, the backers, which I use for offensive tackles and linebackers, uh, the right shoulder may need to be um, uh, trimmed down a little. And there's different ways to do that. Uh, best way is probably with an X-Acto knife. Be very careful with these. This requires adult supervision, by the way. You could also use sandpaper, or if you're very skilled, perhaps, nail clippers. Um, that would be my least recommended method. And uh, otherwise, you know, a nail file would probably uh, do the trick. Now, you might take some of the shine off the uh, finish, but hey, you're going to be putting primer on these figures anyway, so... That's not too big a concern. So, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll just set the ones that need trimming somewhere else, I guess. And I don't know if we'll do all these on camera. Uh, see, there it is again on the shoulder. See right there? Need to trim that down a little bit. You're looking for the mold seam that goes all the way through the figure. Uh... You're just looking for any areas that need to be trimmed down. The helmets often need to be trimmed just a little. Look at the shoulder there. See that flash sticking up there on the shoulder? You'll never get the uh, jersey number on there properly with that there, so that will need to be trimmed down. Now on this one, you can see the helmet needs to be filed down just a little bit for trim now. So, rather than check all these, it may just be better to assume that they all need some trimming. Yeah, on well, just about every one of these, the shoulders are going to need to be uh, smoothed down a little bit. This must be where they uh, connect to the sprue tree in the molds. I don't have, I'm not privy to how exactly that process works, but that is where I'm, again, there's just excess flash on all their shoulders here, and sometimes on their helmets. That one needs to be trimmed down a little, that helmet in the middle along the seam. Let's see. Yeah, I have yet to come across one that doesn't need a little work. And again, it's important to, to take notice of that kind of stuff. It'll make painting easier and applying decals easier, especially on the shoulder. Look there. See on the helmet? See that ridge? Need to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I think we can safely look on the hand. There's another area. I put my reading glasses on, I can see these even better. But yeah. The shoulder and the hand on that one needs work. Yeah. So yeah, it really looks like they must connect to the sprue uh, after being cast at the shoulder, or possibly the helmet, but I think probably the shoulder. Just too much of a consistent thing I'm seeing here. Again, the left shoulder there is going to need to be either trimmed down with the X-Acto knife or filed down in some way. I don't have any sandpaper. Well, I bet I bet I have some downstairs, but I don't use it frequently enough to know I possess it. Again, on the shoulder there, that needs to be trimmed down. This is true for any mass-produced electric football figure. Um, you're going to need to ex examine and inspect the figurine before you begin painting it to see anything that needs to be done to it. It's like on the pants there, there's a 
little area it needs to get trimmed a little bit. Yeah, it's very noticeable on this one. You know, very easy to do with the X-Acto knife. Just, again, be careful. And uh, I, I urge adult supervision when using sharp knives. Or any knives at all, if I'm honest. This set of figures, I've already talked about this, they're going to be a Color Rush Custom Steelers in a yellow jersey rather than a black jersey. Like they, uh, I think they wear them in practice. But it'll be on the Color Rush uniform. And a team of Chicago Bears in the orange jersey with blue uh, numerals on the jerseys rather than white. And as for the third team, I'm really beginning to consider... Uh, depending on how Christmas pans out for me. Um, picking up some Indianapolis Colts stickers, or um, decals, in fact, a, a build team kit, and use the extra stickers for that for a squad of Tennessee volunteers. The the white jersey number font is, is it's the varsity font on the Colts uniform, so that would work for the Tennessee Vols. I'd have to get really good at painting that T on the helmet, because I won't have decals, other than the, Colts numbering, uh, but I did it on the the band uniform that figure I've showcased in the past, so I don't see why I couldn't do it on the helmets as well. And as I've said before, I'm going to step up my game on these figures and try to add some more details, like uh, uh, gloves, armbands, wristbands, Possibly the, the little white pad at the back of the helmet. That's hard to do on these Fab Five figures because of the, the way they're molded. Maybe towels. Maybe just paint white towels, you know, hanging down. We'll just have to see. Um, different colored shoes. Can't do incredibly fine details, even with my Sharpie Ultra Fine markers. But I'm, I'm going to try to get creative and do some more... Um, stylized stuff on these figures since I'm not using any existing figures that were painted by Tudor as a template. Yeah, might as well face it, all of these need some trim, uh, particularly about the shoulders. And having said that one, this one looks all right. Now, uh, the first step after this is complete, after trimming them, will be priming them. And I'll probably do a video on that as well. That's just uh, putting some a coat of primer on them to receive the paint. It doesn't have to cover the entire figure, uh, which you won't be able to tell on these uh, unpainted white figures, but the unpainted red figures uh, don't feel like you have to coat the entire figure in, in the white primer and turn it white. As long as it has a coat of primer on it, it should be good to go. The, the helmet needs trimming. You can see the the mold seam there. But we'll uh, do that down the road. I'll pull 42 of these out and uh, get them ready to prime. Not to, not, not this weekend. I, I have other things to do this weekend. Uh-oh. I mean, I could almost pull that off with my finger, but yeah, we'll, we'll cut that off. You know, these Fab Five figures are, are pretty detailed. As is, um, many of the figures have the padding on the on the legs there. You can see the padding beneath the the pants or the pantaloons. Proper word for them. Yep, definitely. Th this ha that has to be where they connect to the um, uh, sprue in the the mold there on the shoulders before they cut them out. So. You know, just trim that off and you're good to go. It's you know, with this many figures though, it's that's going to be quite a task. Get that done and then be ready to start painting. As before, I'll uh, probably start painting the base plates with Viper Green, and then uh, probably with this batch, I'm going to actually go ahead and write uh, their jersey number that they will have on here, so I can begin to plan. I'm going to look at pictures on the internet and, uh, you know, look at just some actual football players. Look at 
the, the accessories they have, like the gloves and the uh, armbands, wristbands, braces, that sort of thing. And uh, see exactly how I want to paint them. So I'm not just doing it willy-nilly on the fly. Just have a little reference chart. Uh, that's going to save on paint drying out, too, when you know exactly which color, which color you want for which figures you have set out to paint. Uh, you set out maybe ten players with yellow shoes, and then set out ten players with... Uh, black shoes, ten players with white shoes, and then that sort of thing. Have that all planned. Have a game plan before you get started. You'll save on paint. And it, which, if, if you're on a budget, that's that's an important uh, thing to do. I was a little too uh, unfrugal with my paint early on. I had to buy more. Learn my lesson. And so now we're, uh, that one looks okay. We're going to do things different. Well, obviously I'm not going to get through, I mean, this could take an hour just to sit here and look at all these figures and decide which ones do and don't need to be trimmed off. Let's just assume they all do. But that's the first step in uh, painting figures is to make sure that there's no excess flash on the figure before you put on the first coat of primer. Because once you start painting them, uh, when you when you trim flash, you're just going to have to repaint over the, the bare plastic that you've uh, exposed as a result of trimming them. But again, I recommend an X-Acto knife and adult supervision for this sort of thing. And uh, otherwise, you might find some luck with a nail file or sandpaper uh, or possibly with nail, nail clippers. I would be loath to use nail clippers on these figures. I'd, I'd be worried about breaking them with those, but... Well, I hope this has been instructive, and uh, I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.